Hey, now then, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Yorkshire Bike Mechanics YouTube channel. My name's Dave Kay. I hope you're having a good week and you're all well. And today we've got a right challenge. So, first of all, I think for this challenge we definitely need a little bit of calming music. So let's have some calming music, please. Thank you. Right, now that we've got some calming music on, let me show you this job. Come and have a look. Look at this. This is a corner, steel frame, aluminium post. But someone, rather than bring it to us first of all, someone has decided to try and cut this off, ragged it round and tried to pull it out of frame. And as you can see, there's loads of damage to this top. So this kind of gives us a proper challenge today because Normally what we'd do is we'd get a seat post pulling jig out and as you know if you've watched his videos before we'll put some collars on there and we'll pull it out that way. But we've really not got a lot to get hold of in this particular case so we need to come up with some kind of idea. So what I'm thinking is two different ways we could actually look at getting this particular post out. First of all we could actually cut it even further down than what it is at the moment and we could get as internal saw which is here as you can see this is a specially made saw for seat posts this particular distance here the distance between the edge of the blade don't know whether you can see that the edge of the blade and the actual tool is the same thickness of the uh, the side of the seat post so it doesn't actually go in uh, and touch the frame so we can use that and we can cut sections out the seat post and we can do it like that which is really a last resort but what I'm thinking I'm thinking that we could see if we can utilize what's left at the top here of this existing seat post and see if we can actually drill a hole through put a collar underneath and then get a seat post jig out and try and pull it that way I think if we can manage to do that that's going to be the better way of doing it now I'm not sure how long it's been in but it looks like it's been in a long time. So it's not going to be an easy one to get out. But let's get a seat post jig out. Let's start drilling a hole. Let's get the collar on and we'll see how we go with that method first before we go ahead and, and uh, use the saw to cut sections out. We've got the frame on the floor. What we need to do now is we need to drill a hole through what's left of the seat post there so we can actually get a pin through it. So let's go ahead and do that now. It needs to be around about six mil. Right, so we've got us hole drilled for us bolt, which will hopefully take the strain of the collar that we're going to put underneath. So let's get it back in the beast. So now that we've got us hole drilled, we've put the frame back in the jig. We've still got us calming music on, which we might need. So what we need to do now is put this collar over the existing frame there at the top. Drop us pin in, okay. And we're just gonna tighten this collar up a little bit just so it's not flopping around. Okay, so now what we need to do now is basically lift us pulling device up of us on us beast so we can actually get some pressure under this collar here up against underside of this pin. So let's lift it up a little bit. Make sure everything's level. So we get an even pull across the pin. Okay, so we'll lift it up and we'll take the tension out. Get the collar under there. Okay, so we've got all the, the slack out of there and we'll bring the camera around the front because I think you might be able to see better. Okay, so we're at a decent camera angle. So I think the best thing to do now is because I think this post has been in so long, I think we should apply a little bit of heat to this tube just to expand it a little bit and hopefully we'll make it easier to come out. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're nice and hot round there. Um, but I think because we've got some kind of potential metal that might um, it, it might actually shatter and fly off, I think we'll kind of protect his eyes and stuff with this particular rag. But we've obviously made a mark there, as you can see. So we can keep coming back and checking to see if it's actually lifting or not. Uh, and let's keep his fingers crossed. So let's pull. Let's have a look. Okay. This pin's starting to bend as you can see, which is a risk, but we expected that. So let's see how far we can get. That's a good sound. That's the sound that we wanted to hear. So I'll take this rag off. Okay, and we can see that this pin is starting to bend, but fortunately it's actually bent at the right time because we've obviously got to the point where we've put enough force in to start to lift this post, as you can hear. So, and I think, I think it's the calming music that's, uh, that's done this. So let's have a, let's have a look. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Not as we suspected. I actually thought they would actually start to lift this post out. But as you can see, I'm mistaken. And now that we've lifted the rag off, it's actually shattered the top of the post. So, plan B. And I think we need, might need some more calming music. Plan B. So what we need to do is we need to take us as modified saw all the way down to the end and what I've basically done is I've dropped something down to actually tell us how long the actual post is and I've just put a mark on there so that's how far it actually goes into the frame so we know how far to cut and that, like I said before this blade is set to the thickness of the post so we're not actually cutting any further uh, so we're not going to da damage the frame so what we need to do basically is cut sections out of this post. It's going to take a while, but we will get there in the end. We'll cut one section down until it, until it goes all the way through and then we'll turn it round and we'll cut another section out a little bit further round. And that should allow us to pull one piece out, uh, which should free the rest off. But let's see how we go. So let's start to cut and we'll see how we go. Right, okay, so I think we're just about there to be honest. I think the calming music may have done the trick, but to be honest, I've not filmed all of this and we've been at it quite a while. So I think that we might be free there. Let's see if we can pull it out. Oh, there we go, look. Oh, bloody hell. Excuse me, I'm swearing. Look at that. Who'd have thought, eh? And it wasn't that far down, to be honest. So did the beast fail on this occasion? I don't think it did. If we'd have had a longer seat post, something to purchase to, I think with the, uh, I think we'd have got that out. But nevertheless, we did get it out in the end, even though it took three hours. Well, no, it didn't. It took about an hour and a half, plus loads of calming music. But anyway, we've got it out in the end. And this is the blighter. Okay. Well, I'll carry on. Anyway, it's out. So, lesson learnt. Um, if you can't get a seat post out of your frame, don't bother trying to cut it and wangle it and twizzle it and get your stilsons on it and try and move it around just bring it to us and we'll get it out without a problem uh, so on that note i am going to say sayonara off we go
See you later. Total pip. Merry wind. See ya. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you bye.